Yes. Okay. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to give you 15 advanced words and phrases to use instead of saying yes and examples of situations in which you can use these phrases. And you can use these in your daily English casual and formal conversations to sound like a fluent and advanced English speaker. So let's get going. Hey everyone, this is Chetna and you're watching Chet Chat. And today is a Friday, so here we are with a new video, just like every Friday. So I hope you're watching all of them. And for now, the 15 fabulous words and expressions to say instead of saying the boring yes to someone. So how about you make sentences with all these words in the comment section below and also try to use them this entire week. And next Friday, tell me how you felt about using your brand new vocabulary words. At number one is consider it done. This is a bright and cheerful way to say yes. When someone asks you to do something, example, your teacher says, hey, could you please hand over these books to the librarian? You could smile, look cheerful and say, consider it done, ma'am. That will surely bring a smile on your teacher's face. It conveys that you will gladly do something that you have been asked to do. Consider it done. A thousand times yes. Sometimes just saying yes is not enough. What do you say when you want to agree strongly? A thousand times yes. For example, one of your friends suggests that you should all sit together on a Zoom call tonight and you feel like it's such a great idea to study with your friends. Then you can say a thousand times yes. We must study together today. In fact, we should do this every week. A thousand times yes. And before moving on to word number three, I want to give a shout out to Anamika for leaving this super sweet message under my last video, which got 96 likes from you. So if you want a shout out in my next video, then leave me a comment below with the hashtag Chet Chatters. And now for word number three, ace, brilliant. Suppose you're in a meeting to discuss a group project and one of the members puts forth an idea that is wonderful. You like it a lot. Then you can say, Ace, brilliant. This will instantly lift the energy in the room. Ace, by the way, can also mean to pass some things with flying colors. For example, Jenny aced the lab experiments or I think I aced the exam. So by calling someone's ideas Ace or brilliant, you're giving them a huge thumbs up. Brilliant. Tell me about it. So you have been having a lot of power cuts in your area recently and you're on the phone with your friend and she complains about the power cut. You can say, tell me about it. Tell me about it is used when you totally understand what someone is talking about because you have had the exact same or maybe a similar experience. A more casual way of saying the same thing is telling me Something is wrong with that computer. Yeah, tell me about it. Or telling me I can never get it to work properly. Your friend says Joe is in a bad mood and you go, tell me about it. I've been trying to cheer him up since yesterday. And sometimes you can use some fun words like okie dokie, I I or righto. And this is the video where you're going to find all these stupendous words and expressions like all righty and roger that and lots more. You're dead right. You're dead right about Loki being the best villain. I think all Marvel fans will agree. You can use this phrase when you want to say somebody is totally right. You're dead right or you're so right. It's often said with excitement and passion. You're dead right. Marvel is better than DC. Or you're so right about that new boy. He has been quite quiet of late. You know, more than the words, it's the tone of your voice and body language. So when you're saying yes, look bright and happy, smile, bring some energy into your body and say, you're so right. Totes. Totes is casual and it's the short form of totally. 
Totes is an American slang word and it sounds super cool as well. So let's say your kid brother comes into the room and asks for your permission to switch on the television. Then instead of saying yes, you can say totes. It's like saying sure, cool, yep, totes. Some people use it in sentences instead of totally. For example, I read his blog and I'm a totes fan. Hey, by the way, if you are enjoying this video, then give me a thumbs up right now so I know that you are a totes fan of Chet Chat. Spot on. So suppose you're talking about the best science fiction movie and they say it's Interstellar. You can say spot on. That is the perfect sci-fi movie according to me. This is used to tell someone that they have hit the nail right on the head. Spot on. An alternative in this situation is you can say that again. It indicates a complete agreement. For example, your friend says, Harry can be a little rude sometimes. And you go, you can say that again. Or you're spot on about that. Be my guest. This is an informal way of saying, please do. So if someone asks you, may I choose the restaurant for dinner tonight? You can say, be my guest. It's warm and polite if said with a smile. It's a way to say that someone is welcome to do or take something. Could I borrow your pen? Sure, be my guest. By the way, I'm waiting to see your comments below on which of these words was your favorite and how you're going to use them in your daily life. True that, true that. This choco chip flavored ice cream is the best ever. True that is short, crisp and a smart way of agreeing with someone. It's like saying so true. True that is casual and fun. I like it because it has a warm and understanding tone. Like, I so agree with you. I think the best band is BTS. True that, I'm an army too. And if you're a BTS army, then tell me in the comments below. On the same page, let's say your dad wants you to do an MBA. You agree with him, so the next time he discusses it with you and you want to say, yes, dad, instead you can say, dad, you and I are on the same page. This phrase is used when you have matching ideas with someone else. And if you find perhaps that you and your best friend are almost always in agreement on most things, then you can even use the words, we share the same wavelength. On the same page, share the same wavelength. Drop me a comment below to tell me how you will use these phrases in your daily life. She really does. It really does. Now let's say you go camping with your friends and a girl picks up a guitar and sings by the campfire. Your friend next to you says, hey, she sings well, doesn't she? You want to agree. So instead of saying, yes, she does, you can say, she really does. When someone says, it's so warm today, you can just say, it really is. I mean, you could have just said she does or it is but adding really makes it a stronger statement. Like you completely agree. It really does. <laughs> Plus one. The next one is a mathematical way of saying me too. It's commonly seen in text language. So if someone says, I love chat chats videos, what do you say? Plus one. Particularly on a long email or a text thread, when you tag someone's message and say plus one, it's the equivalent of saying, I'm another one who agrees with that. Okay, so these were 12 fun and casual expressions for your daily English conversations. But how would we say yes to someone in a more formal setting? I have three expressions that will always come in handy. I concur. Let's say you're in a formal meeting with the principal of your school or the board of directors and they are making some important proposals. You have been asked if you agree, then instead of saying yes, you can say I fully concur with the board of directors or I concur with principal ma'am. I concur. I second. Another thing that usually happens in important meetings is that lots of decisions are taken. Now you've been asked for your opinion on a certain decision. Then, instead of saying yes, you can say, I second the decision to postpone the annual day. If your principal was the first to take this decision, then you're seconding it or backing it up. I second. I subscribe to. You must have heard the word subscribe when talking about YouTube channels or social media pages. But what if you like and follow someone else's ideas, opinions or beliefs? So, 
I subscribe to Ronaldo's mantra for life, dedication, hard work and belief. Or I subscribe to the age old wisdom in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Speaking about me, I subscribe to the idea that when you love something, you should show it to them. So if you've loved this video, then show me some love by giving me a thumbs up and hitting the subscribe button. And see you next Friday. Meantime, take care and happy learning.